my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here, and today we're going back to the height of the Ming Dynasty, where you are the literati and artisans of the elite gentry class living in Jiangnan, who are highly skilled in literature, calligraphy, brush painting, and the musical and performing arts. You're trying to become the greatest scholar in Jiangnan by collecting new ideas and earning money to help you publish your own portfolios. You'll also travel around the world to inspire yourselves or meet new people to help you with your work. Jiangnan Life of Gentry is a worker placement and action tile bag building game for 1-4 to four players with a 5th player upgrade pack available. It takes 90 minutes to 2 hours to play, is for ages 12 and up, and published by Mo Ideas Game Design. Now it's on Kickstarter right now, so I'm going to show you how the game works and I'll see you on the other side. This is the Kickstarter preview, so what you're seeing here is a prototype. Any art, components, and gameplay can be changed. To see the most updated information, check the Kickstarter link in the description of this video. The game is played over six rounds, and over those six rounds, you're trying to score the most points, and you're gonna be going out to different areas and doing different things. You're gonna be gaining different portfolios and trying to complete them. There's three types. There's red drama, yellow literature, and blue are the paintings. These are gonna help you get different bonuses, some round end bonuses, and they're gonna help you score at the end of the game for set collections for each each set of all three of the different colors will give you points too, but they're also going to score, much like everything else, possibly throughout different times of the game depending on what people choose to do. You might be going to gather assistance that will also give you immediate bonuses and some abilities that happen at the end of the round, but they're going to help you score as well. And you're also going to be traveling, possibly all the way out to different mountain regions which are going to score you points as well. Now each player has their own board and a cloth bag that has a bunch of these starter tiles in it. And these are action tiles and you're gonna draw them randomly from the bag and set this up. Now the game is played over again, six rounds and each round you're gonna be taking a certain amount of actions and these actions are depicted on these. So let's go through a round to show you how this works. So on your turn, you're going to select one of these actions and you're selecting the, the top half of this is the action because these all correspond with some of the places I showed you on the main board. So let's say you chose this one. This one right here, you could actually just slide this down. This actually just ends up going into one of these slots here as your used actions. So you will do this action here. Now that matches this action, which is the society action, which is essentially conversing with other talented scholars and inspiring each other with new ideas for your works because here are portfolios. And you'll do a few different things here. First of all, you're gonna be uh, helping yourself in turn order for next round. So you're gonna take this and move it here. This is gonna help you determine, right now it's me, then the other player, and then next round it looks like I'm gonna be first for turn order because I was the first to go to that society action. Now, if you don't like any of these, you can actually spend a coin to refresh this and get four new ones. But other than that, you can either take two of these, you can take one of them, and any one idea. Now ideas in this game look like this, and there's three different kinds for the three different colors, blue, red, and yellow, as I mentioned earlier, for drama, literary, and paint. So you could take two of these, or one of these and any idea, or any two idea tokens. So let's say we take this and a yellow idea. Now the portfolio is going to your hand, and your ideas are kept here. Now each round, you're gonna be taking three different actions, and you're gonna mark just under where you went, and put your scholar there, just like this. Now, this is gonna be very important, as I'll explain later, but these boats are going to help figure out which things are going to score points at the end of each round. And we'll go more over that later. Now, we took the top side of the action. The furthest one to your right is gonna come off your board, it's gonna get discarded, and you're gonna get this bonus. In this case, that is another yellow idea, but this one goes away and is removed from the game because the ones that you've used will end up going back in your bag and shuffled up with some other tiles as a bag building game a little bit later. So you can see that the choices are interesting because here I took this action and got this bonus. Well, if I took this action, I would then take this bonus, which is getting a coin. So the order of which you do things is very important in this game. And when you're done here, this is always just gonna slide to the right. And then you're gonna draw two more from the bag and put them in their spots. And then it'll be the next player's turn. And you're gonna get three of these actions per round. But let me just go over what all the other actions do. If you go to the tea house, you can publish your own works or admire the works of others for inspiration. Now, when you go here, you have two options. One is you can view the portfolio and it's simply just gain three ideas, one for each type that's here. So in this case, we get a red, a yellow, 
and a blue idea. Remembering that those are essentially tokens that you're gonna be keeping on your board and it depends on what is here. The other option is to complete one of your portfolios. If you remember, I had a yellow, I just picked up a yellow portfolio with the number two on it. Now, by the way, you actually get to start with a portfolio, a starter portfolio. You get to uh, get two and keep one. Uh, but this is the one I just picked up. This one says two. It might be a little hard to read because uh, of the prototype here. So I would return two of these to the supply, and this goes into my finished section. This immediately is going to gain me two coins, which you also keep here. And then at the end of the round, I can pay a yellow idea to get a point. And I'm going to be able to do it at the end of every round. So you got a little bit of engine building there. Now, if we do that, we are going to take a display tile that matches the portfolio that we just finished. We did yellow, so this is yellow. Again, this is literary. And you're going to slide this as these arrows show to this way like this. So this is going to come down here. This is going to slide off. And we're going to place one of our servants on here. Now, this is also important because when you do go here, uh, if you have a servant, you're going to get a coin. So you're kind of, you know, you'll get more and more as you keep going there. But remember, these might be sliding off. Now, if you go to the parlor, you're gonna meet muses with different talents for inspiration, and you're going to possibly be getting one of these assistants. Now, the first thing you'll do is spend a coin and you're gonna lower your stress. Now, your stress is monitored here on your board, and right now it's at two, so we would lower it to one. Now, if this ever gets to six, at the beginning of the next round, your first action has to be basically wasted to rest to bring you back down to zero. Now, when you go here, you're gonna place one of your servants on one of these and gain the immediate uh, action here. So this is gonna give us two yellow ideas. Now, in a future turn when we go here, if when we place, we place our second one because maybe the other player had gone here after we went there and you put a second one here because when you put a second one is when you're actually able to get this assistant. So it's gonna take multiple actions, but you're gonna be getting the immediate bonuses and then at the end of the round, it's gonna get you a bonus too, like spending a yellow idea. I mean, get it, gaining a yellow idea, which goes well with our little portfolio here, which allows us to spend one of those to get points. Another place you can go is the tavern, which is another place where you can complete works. Uh, it's very similar to the tea house, but you spend a coin to reduce stress because it's the tavern. And then if you uh, already had a servant here when you go here, instead of gaining a coin like you would at the tea house, you gain a point. But then the options are the same as what I showed you at the tea house. Now, if you decide to go travel, you're gonna be looking at sceneries around the capital city and getting new inspiration. Now, when you do that, you pay the cost. In this case, it would be one coin and you go to this spot here and you'll be able to get this, which is a blue idea. In this case, you'd get to get one of the revealed portfolios that we first showed you from the society. Now, when well, next time you go here, you can go to any of these places from the city or you can go to the one that's over here, but this one costs two coins. Uh, and But you're going to get one of these, you know, you're gonna see the mountains, which is gonna translate into points as well. If you end up going to the ones that has the question mark, you go to where the question mark is here, which will move over the course of the game and give you a different ability at that time. In this case, it's also gaining one of those portfolios. And speaking about over here, this is the Temple Fair. And here you observe the life of common people and incorporate the experiences into your creations. Now here, you can move your servant either direction, uh, one spot without paying anything or you can spend one or two coins and move two or three spaces and you're going to get the bonus that's there. So for example, if I went here, I'm gonna get this bonus here that is a yellow idea, but if I spent a coin, I'd go here, I'd get yellow idea and a coin, two coins, a yellow idea, a coin, and a blue idea. But then you get to do the action of where that tile is. And that tile's action allows you to place a servant on one of the boat tiles. And this is a great time to talk about the strategy of this because anytime you go to a spot, you're placing your scholar on the rightmost spot above the board. So like, for example, this round I went here first, they weren't there sometime after me. They were the only one to take this action this round. I was the only one to take this round this round. And when you do this, you're gonna end up placing servants at the end of the round as to where you are on here. For example, one of the steps you do at the end of the round, which is the upkeep phase, is each of these players is gonna be able to put one of their servants underneath where they were like this. And now this is essentially tied one to one and in a tiebreaker, it's the one on the right. Because over the course of the game, this is gonna be chosen as to what is gonna be scoring at the end of rounds. For example, this is uh, the different types of portfolios. This is the, uh, the yellow literature that I've been working on. This is the blue paintings, if you will. And so at certain times, you're gonna be able to select which one of these actually is the one that scores. So it's a lot of influence here. Let's show you a little bit more. 
So being able to take that action of placing one before the end of the round is huge because we're gonna get in there before the other player does. So before we show you exactly how this works in detail, let's walk through the steps of what happens after each player has taken their three actions in a round. So at the end of the round, each player is first gonna get personal income. They'll get a coin for every one of the red finished drama portfolios they have. As we talked about earlier, if you have the yellow ones for each one of those, you can spend a yellow idea to gain a point. Here are the assistants. You could activate the special ability of round and for the assistant, like getting yellow idea, for example. Then you're gonna gain stress, always one, plus the number of unfinished portfolios in your hand, because you're stressed, you gotta use it, to, you gotta work. Uh, and then another one for each of your assistants. Then you'd adjust turn order, but in this case, it stays the same and this just comes back. But if it was like this, then these would have flopped and then you reset this. Now, another reason why these boats are important is because from left to right, we're going to see who's gonna be able to get new action tiles first. So right now it's gonna be purple, then orange, then orange, purple, orange, purple. So orange is gonna get two in a row in a little bit. Now these are filled with first round ones. So you're gonna be drafting from these. Again, these are new action tiles. These would be filled up if you were playing with three or four players. And again, look at the bonuses are getting better and you have the actions on the top. So players are gonna be taking those and they won't go in your bag yet. They'll sort of just sit out here because after the next full round, you'll be taking everything that's still here and putting them back in your bag and shuffling them in your normal bag building style. And you'll keep doing that till all those are gone. And then over the course of the game at different parts, there's gonna be stronger and stronger tiles that will be coming out. So here's where we advance the boats and why this is so important because the player who has the most servants on here, so you take this back and you put this here, and whoever has the most servants here is gonna get to decide which one of these two things is gonna score. So this is red drama, and this is the, the blue uh, painting type portfolios. Now let's say I, didn't, I, I only worked on yellow, but let's say the other player worked on blue, so we don't want that to score. So we'll select this, so this will go away. And so the way this works is that this goes here. At the end of the next round, the tile that's here and here will denote each of those are gonna score two points. So for every red one will be two points. And let's say at the end of the second round, it was like this. So at the end of the second round, each assistant you have is gonna be two points and each finished red drama portfolio is gonna be worth two points. Now this boat will sail away and all other boats are going to slide down. So now we know, hey, and again, where you go dis decides this. So if you wanna be able to be the one to really influence this, then this is the action that's gonna help you do that. So it changes how you think about the game. There'll be new boats that come in throughout the game, and the ones that come in later are different, like for every scenery, you'll get three points, for example. These are the later ones. Now at the end of the fourth round, all the tiles, each one of these things that you have done is gonna be worth three points. At the end of the sixth round, Everything you have here, each one of these individuals is gonna score four points for each of the conditions. So that's sort of how the scoring works. And the main way to score points is a lot of this throughout all the round scoring. But at the end, again, you're also gonna score some gain. And so each set you have of one of the three types of portfolios that are completed are gonna get you four points. Each assistant you have is three. Each scenery that you've gotten to, and there's multiple icons on some of them, it's gonna be two points. And then every three ideas is worth a point. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. Well, there you have Jiangnan, Life of Gentry. And if you'd like to see the most up-to-date art components and gameplay, along with all the different pledge levels available, you can click the link below me in the description of this video. Now that will take you directly to the Kickstarter project page. And I'm sure that Moideas Game Design would love your support.